just a just a hard fought SEC game. You know, just so many wars in this league. Um, Ole Miss has a really good basketball team, and we 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 anticipated that this would be a real slugfest. And they have a terrific team, and they forced us to play poorly uh, in the first half. Give them credit. Um, you know, obviously Charles gets the two fouls, and we just kind of hung in there, and uh, and then found the rhythm there to start the second half and, and end the night with a really good win because we beat a, a very good team. Mark, were you a little concerned coming in today coming off the big emotional win off the floor coming in this contest tonight? You know, I, I thought before the game, I thought the arena was a little flat. I thought our team was flat. Our assistant coaches were worried about our team kind of during the warm-ups. And, and I just told them before the game, I said, you know, you have to be able to play on the days you don't feel good. You know, and not every, not every night is – is you know the rival Florida Gators and the, the packed house and and and, uh, and all that. You've got to be able to show up every day and grind it out and find ways to win and and you got to stick together doing that. And unfortunately for us, we we did. We stuck together even when we had to play from behind there in the first half. And and we just we just stayed stayed the course and that that worked out well for us. I thought maybe you were getting some decent looks in the first half, but it's just one of those nights that you couldn't knock that uh, I, I, have, I think, Chip, yeah, we had a couple looks, but you have to give their, their defense credit. You know, you have to give their defense credit. You know, we, we, we couldn't get Kenny Gaines a basket, you know. Um, and um, but, but they did a nice job. You know, they, they, we did miss some shots um, that, that maybe we've made in the last week, but, but uh, you have to give them, them some credit there. Those two threes by JJ down the stretch for those plays to get him the ball, or uh, that's just out of offense, you know. And uh, you know he was standing right in front of me, so I told him to shoot it, you know. And uh, and they were big baskets, you know. They were big baskets. He made a couple of big free throws late, and, and um, I didn't think he he played so many minutes in the first half. I wasn't particularly pleased with how he played in the first half, and, but he certainly was very good in the second. He was a guy that you know was playing well as an like energy guy off the bench. Are you surprised at his production as a kind of thirty minute? game. Got well, everyone's it. roles had to change, you know. Uh, everyone's roles had to change. I mean, we lost our two small forwards in the span of about, you know, three, four days, you know. So everyone's roles changed. Uh, Charles has gone to a new position. JJ's gone to the starting lineup, and and, um, and JJ's handled it quite well. Um, nice like tonight when we get two early fouls on, on somebody, put us in a you know, really precarious position. But Taylor Eccles gave us good minutes tonight, and um, but uh, yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me. But it's been it's kind of been a work in progress as we kind of shift everybody around. Man, it uh, seemed like he started early in the second half, getting inside their zone and sort of breaking that up and turning the tide a little you bit. You know, I, we we chose to sit Charles most. I played him some with two fouls in the first half. Cam Forte gave us really good minutes, you know, in the first half uh, as well. Uh, but then in the second half, kind of Charles got back in his wheelhouse, you know, in his comfort zone, and, and was able to. To make some plays on the inside of the zone, and and, uh, and you know I, I was was pleased to see that because he sat so much in the first half. Can you talk a little bit more about Cam's minutes and how important those were for you? Uh, well, you know Cam is has got a unbelievable spirit for games. I mean he's the most beautiful teammate in the world during games. I mean he loves to play. He doesn't have the same love for practice, um, but he, he loves to, he loves to play. And I told him after shooter, and I said, "We need your spirit. I mean, we need you. We need your spirit to kind of run through this team today." And so he gave us a real big boost. That was good to see. You mentioned coming out flat, but the start of the second half, you really came, went out with a run, more intensity. What was the difference to start of the second half? Well, obviously, you know, you know, Charles was back in the game, and we we were kind of you know back to the lineup we kind of got used to in the last couple of games, and I thought that was key. And uh, you know, Charles gave us a nice start to the second half, and kind of led us there. How big was Marcus in the first half when nobody was really making a shot that he was? You know, I think Marcus is the only starter to make a basket in the first half. You know, I think he was the only starter for us to make a basket, which was critical. And I'll be honest with you, Marcus is you know he was he's he's carried a big load and. Uh, and uh, third game in six days on, on you know, on his body that's, that's been through as much as we all know it has. Uh, I was a little worried about him today. You know, he, he, he looked at fatigued for the first time. And, and um, as I told him after the game, you guys have earned a day off. You, uh, you really held back on putting him back in the game, stayed with Deontay really late. What was your, and then Marcus got back in the game and ended up making a steal that was, was, was pretty big. What was your thinking? You know, I just thought that, that you know, Deontay is, is, keeps growing up. And um, you know, I felt like you know that um, he is ready to play in bigger moments. Marcus had, I think, four fouls at the time, also. 
And so, you know, um, we just chose to stick with Dante a little longer, and he, he did a nice job. One more question. Just again on Charles, I think this is the fourth game where he's been scoreless in the first half and then obviously comes back as a big game in the second half. Do you have to find a way to get him going earlier to be successful well, going forward? I mean, he, 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 he got two fouls, so it's hard to score when you're sitting on the bench, you know. Um, and um, I, I probably put him in one situation to get a foul, but I, I, it's probably poor coaching. You know, I think one of the fouls probably is my fault, so, um, you know. But, you know, he's got he's to be able to – Instead of foul trouble, stay on the floor because you know, he'll, he'll get some shots if he gets on the floor.